now in this particular video we are going to learn about the tail command okay so similarly just like a head command tail is also one command in but in this we uh, like uh, expect output uh, from the downside or you can say the we try to get the output from the bottom of the txt file or uh, any file uh, uh, like uh, you know, from which we want to like extract some kind of data like suppose you want to extract data from a log file like you need uh, a last uh, 10 number of lines if you need okay so in this case we can use the tail command okay so uh, the basic uh, uses like uh, you can try to learn about uh, like how you can read the log file using tail command and all these things so these are the basic uses of this so uh, I have already two files uh, stress.txt and capital.txt okay so let me show you these two files so this is the content of stress.txt and this is the content of capital.txt okay so on these two files we are going to use the tail command okay so I will use first tail command on the stress.txt so what it will do let's check so it will just print the last 10 lines okay so here you can see it is just printing the last 10 lines you can like get the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so using just simple tail and the file name what you will get you will get the by default last 10 lines but suppose if you want to more more lines suppose if you, if you want 15 lines so how you can do it so nothing you just have to use hyphen n option and the provide the number of lines which you want so I just want 15 so here I got the last 15 lines okay so you can use hyphen n option to get the last uh, number of lines and similarly uh, there is an option of hyphen c option like which will provide you the like uh, what you can say last number of specific bytes if you want suppose if I want uh, 13 bytes I will use just hyphen c and 13 so here you can see I'm getting just West Bengal let me try higher number 16 again I think I will get same okay nothing uh, I I got like this West Bengal and and okay suppose if I want uh, 20 bytes uh, sorry if I want how much 20 so as you can see I'm getting 20 bytes let's count like W1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and also there will be like uh, some kind of particular size for the spaces also okay so in this way we are getting the 20 bytes like a specific bits okay not bits bytes it is okay so you can use the hyphen c option to get the specific number of bits okay from a txt file or any kind of file so now if you want to get the uh, like uh, last uh, 10 lines of both files how you can get it just simple use this uh, command stress dot t uh, hyphen n and the uh, number of lines then provide the files file name which you want so I need uh, data from two files so as you can see you can get easily like from capital dot txt these are the last 10 lines and from stress dot txt these are the last 10 lines okay so apart from this uh, there is also a like a very interesting thing uh, in which you will learn in this particular video that is a monitoring any uh, like uh, any txt file suppose there is a log system or something like that and if you want to monitor it so how you can do it you you can use it just by applying tail command by which option you can use by using hyphen f okay so let's do it tail hyphen f stress.txt okay so uh, first let me show you the content of stress.txt so that will be clear to you so as you can see at the end we have only west bengal okay so now i will use tail hyphen f stress.txt and here you can see like it has printed the last 10 lines and it is my monitoring this file so now what i will do i will just open up the again new terminal I hope it is visible to you I will move into the head directory and I have these two files and what I am going to do I will append some data in stress.txt and uh, then here you, you can see 
if I write something then it should reflect here hello okay so as you can see hello has been added if I want uh, if I want to print Linux fair India so here you can see whatever I'm writing here whatever I'm adding in this particular file it is get monitored by this system like tell if we have used hyphen have option to monitor this test.txt file so whatever we are doing changes in that particular file it is reflecting here so in like this you can also use this uh, particular thing in the like uh, log monitoring system okay so I hope you liked it like that was the interesting part of this particular video I hope you liked it suppose uh, we write anything else okay so here you can see it is getting like uh, reflecting here okay and all these things will get added into this particular stress.txt file now I will just save it and now again I will try to check the content so here you can see all those extra contents has been added in that particular TA, uh, stress.txt file so that was the uh, like uh, most important or you can say most interesting thing of this particular video so i hope you liked it and uh, please if you have any queries regarding this video so then you can ask us in the comment section okay so we will meet in the next video so thank you thank you for watching